Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play Valkyrie Profile 2 Samaria for the PS2. My name is Flatless Bearer, this year's Toby Skibby Channel and today, today we go to the top of the Hall of Valhalla to see what awaits us up there. Let's do this. I hope you're all having a wonderful fantastic day today. That looks familiar. It looks like the thing that uh, Lucian got stuck in in the first Valkyrie profile. And there's the dragon orb. Do you think we'll be able to break the seal? There's bombs. We can worry about him later. For now, we need to take the dragon orb. No! He's coming with us. It's huge. How are we going to get him out? What if we use that? Is that? The water mirror. So Maria told me about it. Yeah, the water mirror. With this mirror, you can talk to people far away and transport things you put in it. I, I thought this, yeah, so, this was the same we were spot. To jump in, we could all go back to Midgard. Then let's go. Oh, God. Can we not? What are you doing here? Stand down. I'm not here to fight. I need your help. Okay. Nobody cares what you need. Uh, she doesn't Even want to fight. To That's good. Silmeria? Odin wasn't the only one Lazard took with him. He has Silmeria as well. We're not fools. You can't trick us that easily. What? Didn't you see it for yourselves? Well, we were a little busy at the time. <laughs> but you must have seen Lazard use a divine technique against Odin. <laughs> it is a magic which cannot naturally be used by humans unless they have the necessary knowledge and power. The knowledge in the Philosopher's Stone and the power of Silmaria. Lazard has created a new world outside of Yggdrasil. What? And fled there. Wait, what? A new world? How much power does this guy have? The king is seeking to transcend this mortal coil by creating a closed timeline. A new world tree stemming from neither the heavens, the underworld, nor the world of mortals. I remember this. In other words, independence from the gods. So is the king really trying to do that? Or was Lizard really trying to do that? So it's true. They did it. They completed their research into Pan. Yes. He's probably figured out the sovereign's right as well. We'll have our hands full. Hey, are you thinking about going? Why wouldn't I? I don't care what happens to Odin, but I can't let that madman run wild. Agreed. Release Brahms from his prison and return the dragon orb. Yeah, that's show good faith. Those are our conditions. I, I like Leisha here. Good, good call. Humans negotiating with gods? Uh oh. Oh, I I'll say this again. Can we not? Please? I don't think she wants to talk! She does not want to talk! Let me put you out of your misery. Oh my god. Funny prayer. Quick dash. Ah, uh, she turns quick. We got a strike here. Absolutely. Oh boy! Let's do it. I did not get a soul crush on that? Useless Wait, what? Oh god. She just went Super Saiyan. I need to get a soul crush here. Oh 
Why am I not getting a soul crush? Oh my god! Wasted on you. Well, that was a thing that exists. I don't know why I couldn't get a soul crush. I mean, I was definitely hitting her a lot of the time, but nothing popped. <sighs> Yum. No support magic. I could throw that on her to like screw her up. There is a uh there is a dais not too far from here. And then the or then when she does set us up, it's not gonna work. That might be a good idea. I also may have to rethink my strategy of going pure attack 150%. Because if we can't kill her in one turn, well then. I'm dead. I don't know what I was doing jumping there. Well, I, I pressed the wrong button. Okay. Maybe. See again, we did not get the soul crush. Why am I not getting soul crush here? You sleep now and never. The, 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 this is bothering me. Yes, sweep dive is fine. Cutting out the feet. Really being slash attacked in the air. I think that's the one that pops them up. Maybe I should go for more, uh, direct attacks. Like, uh, Capitating Bow aimed at the neck. That's more high. Uh, you have Aiming Wisp. Which is 12. Uh, maybe Blinding Distortion isn't the best. That's three times eight, but it's, this is 16. I mean, that's just flat out 16. Uh, Killing Thorn. I like that attack. I like that attack. Reason Lance should do pretty well, but it's not. Uh, maybe Aiming Wisp to guarantee the hits. Maybe I... Maybe I take out Psycho-sama and Fist of Iron because he does a lot of hits and go for heat up. Oh, I have extra skill points now. Oh, ho, ho! So I could easily put Psycho-sama on here. Uh, let's see. Adonis, he has two more. Uh, we could go for... So I'm trying to kill her quickly. That's what I'm trying to do. Go for True Sing. Again, for her, I would really like to get a heat up as well. I know that cuts my damage a little. But if I'm not getting to my uh, 100%, it doesn't matter. Because it's our soul it questions that do so a bad. ton of damage. Either one that happens. Ah, 
I jump into an enemy, but I never get that first attack. We didn't get 100 that time, but I think it's because the enemy like flew into a thousand pieces. They weren't bad, but that's all. Nothing. I don't know the best strategy to fight this, uh, to fight Freya. Now, like I said, I can't get rid of the, uh, the, the damage reduction on me. And that will make it so I don't die instantly. But at the same time, I do believe if I could just do enough damage, I could probably kill her. And I know that sounds absolutely crazy. I do think it's a winning strategy. Now, hopefully that made it so that she cannot use support magic. And then what I want to do is... I want to go back to the, the pool. And I want to try to do everything I can to buff my damage as much as possible. And if this doesn't work, I may have to... I may have to solve for getting rid of the reduced damage and try to it just... Be so bad. Out tank her. How is this thing hitting me? Kidding me, game. Now, if that doesn't get me to 100% when we fight Freya, I'm going to be very, very disappointed in the game. Because surely that's going to do enough. Surely, right? <laughs> ah, that's not what I want to do. I need it to be on the other side. And it will go to the other side. Oh, almost went to the other side. It's far enough. Okay, so we have attack up by 170 base, so we have experience for all. I may need to get rid of experience for all here, uh, just so that I can do more. The gate critical. Subject becomes immune to critical attacks. Huh. So we get the attack up at max HP. We could go for the RDM. We could go for hit rate up. Maybe that's part of the problem is we're not hitting her. I don't know, I'm going pure offense here. This may be a really, really, really bad idea. Uh, I mean, the optimal thing to do here, to me, would be to try to out-tank the enemy. But I think we've done really well with uh, just putting on the pressure. And if I can... If I can get to the point where we can kill her before she kills us... I mean, that would be ideal, right? <laughs> of course, that's the goal. <laughs> oh, the most obvious thing ever said a word goes to fight your flightless bird. All right. It's about almost 15 minutes. Now I've gotten nowhere on this. Okay. We got this flightless bird. You can do this. You can do this. Uh, another thing I could check. Now, we don't have God Killer, so that's not going to work. Um, but what I can check is make sure everyone has the best, the best thing I can have. So 
So that pops up my attack to 634. That packs it up to 652. That's a pretty big jump. And I think this is... That's earth damage. That's not going to help me at all. I can bring it up to 670. See, 682. Seven forty-three. I never thought about that. The great eagle heart with the evil eyebrow and the power bingle. I'll make very powerful configurations. Okay, what about you? You have the power magic barrel. I believe is attack. It's only attack plus three percent though. Still think that's better than everything else we have. The narwhal tooth is attack up. So I think she's got the best. You got the Great Eagle, you got the Magic Bangle, and these are all attack plus 3%. The magic increase is only slightly higher. Okay. And you have the Court Emerald, which is magic plus 5. Um, is there any way I can increase your attack a little bit? Two eighty four, not really worth it. Okay, so we made Adonis a lot more stronger. Adonis has a lot more strength coming in. We have more overall attack coming in because we have, you know, those other things. We have hit up. So this is, like I said, this is purely a. Kamikaze type style here. She can't guard. Her RDM's reduced by half. Ours reduced by half. Our attack up by like 170. Attack up at max HP, which is an additional 20% to attack and magic, which uh, some of my guys have Psycho Sum on. So that helps. Are you really so ready to die? Wow, that's a really narrow beam that she has there. Okay, we didn't get to the uh, super high number, but we got high enough. There's seven, oh my god, 7,000 damage. Holy cow. It was an, oh yes, I, I think this will work. Rufus should be strong enough to get me to 100%. And it was an attack, how about that? The absolute crazy strategy paid off. Yeah, that, that, that was an insane strategy right there. And it worked. I can't believe it worked, but it worked. Freya, I loved you in Valkyrie Profile 1. Don't make me do this. Ooh. She's a cool character, you gotta admit. We should have run instead of getting mixed up with her. You're mad if you think we gods would stand by while you Ein Herjar slip away. Riss, I need your help. Eat the blast. Ah. Yes! Riss came through, oh my gosh! She actually signed it with me. It's unexpected development. Concerning all the problems that she's had with me. Welcome to the fight. Maybe she does really care about her sister. Uh, I think we just ticked her off. Take care of those two for me. Have you gone mad? 
I won't stand by while you gods kill my Ein Herjar. <laughs> Christ! Stop this! Sorry to like Chris. The heck? Just launched a nuclear bomb? And they're gone. And they're gone. So it has come to this. All I can do is entrust our fate to you. Leneth. Leneth? Wait, what? Well, where did Leneth come into the picture from? Chapter 6 The Twisted World Tree. I mean, Leonard is nowhere to be found. At least not in this point of the timeline, right? Because she woke up 60... Was it 60 years? Feels like a lot more time than that. Hundreds of years? Looks like this time, you really did save me. You can thank me if you want. But I did it to save the world, not you. It was the best available <laughs> option. I still like your wrist. I know you like us too. Hello, <laughs> Shrug. So, not as good as Benjamin Shrug from Mr. Quest, but still. still. Sides with Odin. Well... I don't know anymore. Gods don't belong to worlds. Nor do worlds belong to gods. You are finally starting to realize that. As if the undead would know. Can we? This is something not? we should be discussing with Odin and Lazard. I agree. It's like the third time I said this, but. Uh, really, like how right you are. We should go. Lazard must have already moved on. Imagine a new world. This is it. This entire world is laid out in front of us. There's no going back now. Not to Midgard, not to Asgard. There is a way. What is that? Is that? Oh. From the water mirror? The sole window connecting the closed world with ours. Return is possible. However, Asgard also faces inevitable destruction as we speak. If you ask me, Odin wrought this upon himself. Even so, it's us who will be sorry if everything's wiped out. Well spoken. Hmm. The dragon orb is here with us, and Gunnir is with Lazard, right? Meaning two of the four treasures that sustain our world are here in this one. That's bad. Is there a reason why we just don't burn this world to ash with the dragon orb? <laughs> Each time the stabilizing power is used for destruction, the orb grows weaker. If you're willing to say goodbye to Midgard, then go ahead. No, that's okay. Screw that. What was that? I sense Leneth. How is she here? But why here? Yes, exactly. By the dragon orb. By the water mirror. Hey, 
bombs are in our party. That'd be all. That's awesome. Oh my God, who is joining our party? Well, that's even more awesome. I mean, now we know who the spear and uh, fist things were for. Oh my God, attack 150, no HP. All tolerances up, RDM. Where the hell are we? Tower of Lazard Black. All right, well, this makes me a little bit afraid. Cause, uh, yeah, it, it does. I don't think I need a reason for that. 45 and 48. Come with equipment, that's good. Cause I don't think I had equipment for them. Comes with a bunch of skills, that's great. Less things I need to learn for them. Very limited number of attacks. Lower than dead male, battle made in female, 25 human years. The most powerful of the dead, often referred to as the Lord of the Undead. Boss has been targeted in Odin's quest for the Dragon Orb, one of the fire one of the four treasures. They have fought and continue to fight many battles. If the Dragon Orb is away from Midgard for a long period of time, not only would there be chaos, but the world itself would be on the brink of destruction. Not wanting Midgard to be completely destroyed, Odin opted to replace the orb with a powerful soul. And though he realizes a replacement may not be able to stop the chaos, it should assist in keeping the world in order. Bonds was to serve as a replacement, but just as Bonds was about to be captured by Odin, Samaria came to his rescue. Suffering from a near-fatal wound, Bonds transferred his soul into Dillon, an Einherjar of Samaria's, in search of a place to rest and heal. After materializing as Dillon, he decided to accompany Samaria, who shares his desire to punish Odin, and to whom he owes his life all while all the while concealing his identity. Oh, so we get some, finally get some backstory on how he became, how Dylan became Brahms. Cool. Brist, the eldest of the three goddesses of fate in the present Valkyrie, a loyal subject of Odin. Brist is ordered to search for the dragon orb in human form until Odin learns that Samari has awakened in an incomplete state on Midgard. She is ordered to look for her and bring her back to the heavens. When Odin finds out that Samaria is pursuing the Dragon Orb to, to save Midgard, he changes his orders and has Harris leave Samaria be. Harris assumes the human form of Leone and counters her Alicia and friends accompanied by the mercenary Arngrim. Harris was aware Samaria could see through her guise, but continued to play the role of Leone after realizing Samaria feared confrontation. She succeeded in seizing the Dragon Orb there, thereafter at the Palace of the Venerated Dragon. However, she later reflects on the time she spent with Alicia and company and elects to ally them with, to save the world by going into Lizard's Twisted Realm. So the question is, what do I do with my party now? Because I like Ferris and I like Rufus. But I also want to try out... Bombs and Arist. Now the thing is though, attack-wise... Um, attack-wise, Riss and Bombs are nowhere near. She's a really good tank, though. Look at all those stats. But Bombs is cool. Like, how do I... I mean, I could do this. Go with my two archers. Bombs and Wrist. And Sideline Alicia. Because I haven't... I, I've been using Alicia the entire game. So... She has a gram. This attack is only 150. That attack is only 160. I mean, when you compare that with what Adonis is using... 280. I don't want to get rid of Ferris. But I don't want to get rid of Alicia. So this is the problem I'm having. I really, really like Ferris. Um, I, I might just go with this. What are your skills? Please don't hate me for putting Alicia on this side. Uh, let's go with Psycho Sama. I need Double Edge. Which is a skill you do not have. You have God Destroy, though.
Okay, uh, so I don't have this skill I really, really want on both these guys. I really want double edge. I don't have that. Thankfully, they both have Psycho Sama, so I can boost them. And maybe go with Heat Up, but I really need to give them double edge. That should be priority number one. Now, what do I need for double edge? I need sword, arrow, glove. So this needs to be red. And I need sword. And then squiggles. And then arrow. Okay, let me see if I can get anything else here, though. Okay, I can't. But what I may be able to put here is... Like, wait, Eagle Heart. Swordfish style is 396. That's 406. Okay, same thing with you, really. You're the Empress Coronet. Silver Mail. The Night Blues. Where's my Great Eagle's Hearts? Am I out? Did I forgot to unequip? I forgot to unequip. Oh my gosh, I have the Power Bracelet and Magic Bangle here. That's something that I definitely need to unequip. And also Adonis has some of this as well. Oops, that could have been a major mistake. Still think Adonis may be better overall. It's just one hit, it's just so good. Okay, inside the Great Eagle Heart, I want you to have... That. As for you... Also have that. And we'll go red. We'll go sword... Arrow... Squiggles. Don't have Victoria's Fatality. I mean, they do have a lot of great skills, though. They're, they're missing some of the really good skills, but they have a lot of great skills. Fortunately, they don't have the... They don't have the strength that Ferris has. Once again, Ferris is just so strong. I, I need... I need Rufus for combos. I need Ferris for a strength. Why do I need these two? That I don't know. <sighs> it's maybe a mistake. But you know what? Part of playing the game is playing to have fun and trying something new. Even if it's not the smartest thing in the world to do. Does it really matter? As long as you have fun? You know what I mean? I, I could I could still give someone boosters. Because I do have a lot of stat ups and stuff that I could you know fire off on. I really wish I had the thing that made it so that I can walk right through enemies. Because that would have made life a lot easier. They gave me a boss fight right here. Uh, I just saved, so I'm not concerned. If they gave me a boss fight against Leneth, I'm ready to, uh, I'm ready to get smacked. Because I am going to get smacked here.
I was lying I here. It was you, Lenneth. I've been waiting. I could sense you back in Dupan. Did Freya call you here? No. I am not the Valkyrie you know. I am Lenneth the Creator. I have come from an alternate future to save my own world. Wait, what? This is the Lenneth at the end of alternate Valkyrie Profile future? 1? The world after Ragnarok, where Odin is no more. Whoa! I see. So, I take it we owe this visit to the time machine in Dipan Castle. Lazard's visit, not mine. He is a heretic. A man who has come from my time, the future. So this is future Lazard. This is not past Lazard. So he manipulated the events to cause a new future to happen. Because he knew that if the future goes the way it is, then Lenneth becomes a creator. And in order to get a Valkyrie, he has to reverse. I sealed off the machine to keep humans away, but I should have destroyed it. And thus my world has begun to crumble. Why is that? Silmeria. You were supposed to have saved her. But Lazard, of course, got in the way. So he manipulated the events of time. Yeah, to establish a new timeline. This music almost sounds like Final Fantasy VII music. I don't know if I said it before, but... The bump bump. So that's what really happened, or what should have really happened? What is that madman planning? I imagine. He's attempting to acquire Odin's power and become a god. He acquired the Philosopher's Stone, and was the only human to survive Ragnarok. A future where Lazard is the only human? Pardon me if I'm not eager to maintain that. <laughs> the flow of time is in perpetual flux. The future may be changed, but time is not to be bent to the will of one man. Wasn't defeating Lazard the original reason you came to serve Hrist? They do not serve me. We joined forces to save Silmeria. In that case, we should get along well. Oh my gosh, Lenny's destroy me! Like, I, I don't have room in my party for like all these new people joining me. Status, Lenny. 
Level 50. Lance Reviver. Very little skills. Three attacks. Got a lot of great spells. The second of the three goddesses of fate, however, this is not the Lenith of the present, rather another Lenith from the future. Lenith became the creator of the new era after Ragnarok, but begins to notice unexpected changes occurring to her world. What she realizes is these changes were appearing due to incidents in the past. She suggests, suspects that the alchemist Lizard is behind it all. To save the world from destruction, she goes to the past to save the world of those she loves herself. So like, I want her in my party. But again, what do I do? I kind of like Rufus's combo, but her, Ferris is like the heart of my team. I mean, the, the amount of damage she outputs is just so strong. All right, Ferris, I hate to say it. I, I really hate to say it. That one hurts. That one really, really hurts. All right, let's look at your weapon. Three special attacks, 350 damage. Divine Sword of Mute with the power to create worlds. Positive powers transformed into negative power to purify enemies. And I believe that's weaker than the Gram. No, it's actually stronger. It's a lot stronger than the Gram. Huh, okay. I will take that. I'm gonna give you a red helmet and a red outfit, red boots, and you are going to do what everyone else did. Except you don't need a sword equipped, you already have one. So I can give you heat up. I can give you double edge. I can give you training. You don't have Psycho Sama, do you? Is Double Edge more important than Psycho Sama? I think so. Getting the max hit count should be more important. I mean, you have, your, you have Force Wheel 1000, but everything else is just not good. Alright, um... I don't know if I'm fully satisfied with this, but... I at least want to put the RDM down before we do anything. Then we'll grab a couple buffs and then we'll try fighting some of these enemies. I think this is a way to a dais. Why can't I slide in this game? Slight Devil. Oh, we got a hit. I mean, a break. Only problem is we're doing very little damage. Well, that was cool looking. But is as good as Adonis. I mean, that does a lot more damage. So pretty. Yeah, that does a lot more damage than uh, Bombs does. There's a lot of these guys, and they have a lot. Unless I break each one, I don't know if I'll be able to sufficiently hurt these guys. Yeah, I don't think I'm a fan of bombs. It's just not... 
I mean, Huris isn't bad. Now we get to see Lenneth. Oh, welcome back, Lenneth. So her and Riz basically... Oh, I didn't get the last hit. You know, uh, in the original VP, uh... Uh, that last attack is like an explosion. Didn't happen. Okay, I want to kill there. But I don't want anything else because I want to heal a wrist. Too much. That was way too much. Ah, shoot. Press the wrong button. That was bad. Press the wrong button. Okay, now I it be upon your very soul. At least I get to see now if Lenneth is strong enough to, uh, to, to hit the meter. She's not strong enough to get the meter. I don't know, do I need two of the exact same Valkyries in my party? I mean, I know they're not the same. Don't, don't, don't do this to me, please. Like, don't yell at me for saying that. Um, you know what I mean, though? And what I mean is to have two Valkyries in the party. Because I like variety. And I just don't think having... Riss and Lenneth is a good idea. Question is, do I want to keep Lenneth or do I want to keep Riss? And I'm not a fan of bombs. I'm just not. I mean, he's got a really cool special attack. But I've come to rely on Adonis so much. I really like Adonis now. That was an insane combo. What the heck is the leader? There is no leader? I mean, we don't have to reduce half down. We don't have all the attack buffs up. So, you know, we really can't judge these uh, guys based on that initial soiree. Especially against the enemy we're up against. Seems to be pretty powerful. Uh, attack plus 150% no HP recovery. I'm gonna definitely switch that over. Can I restore HP in my inventory? I can't. Is it dangerous to awaken such power? Oh wait, don't these guys have like RDM 200% as well? Like, I didn't even think about that, but if they have RDM plus... Plus 100... Uh, plus 200%? That would explain a lot.
hard fought battle. Yeah, I mean, that would really explain a lot if that was true. Yeah, already up 200%. That that really 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 does explain a lot. I mean, it's it's really amazing that these characters can do as much damage as they're doing, considering the uh, the RDM being so high. Okay, I'm going back to the front. The reason I'm going back to the front is to use the shrine. So I have a question for you all, and I want to restore this. I think I do. I like all the attack ups. I don't think I'm going to bring a lot with me, but I think things like Sharp Sword Law, Desperate Soldier Law, And I'm gonna bring no guarding to put on the next platform. But I have a question for you all, and as always, first person who comments is the one that I'm going to listen to. Uh, would you rather me use? Uh, I mean, choose like one of the three: Roms, Leneth, or Wrist. Which one do you want to see in my party? Because I don't think I'm gonna use all three of them. I think I like Wrist so far the best. She is limited in weapons, but I I, I do like her. Uh, Brahms I like too, but I, I think I like Adonis a little bit more. But I want to know what you guys think. Maybe I'm missing something. Ooh, I got a new weapon. Is that, did I just get a claw? What the heck did I get? Esther shield. Oh, it's an armor. Looks like only a few people can use it though. Yeah, he's the only one that can use it, strangely enough. It does bump his RDM up by 50, which is huge. Still. Okay, check this way. Nothing. Ooh. Hold my breath on that one. I didn't do a hurrah. up So I don't know if I got through it. Oh, dear lord. Alright, well... What's the strategy? Hit him really, 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 really hard? I mean, that's kind of strategy, isn't it? Then hide yourself away. So. The heck are those things? Rotting demons? Oh, come on! I didn't get it! Okay, he missed anyway. I don't have a good angle on these guys. But all that extra attack, I guess, paid off. Oh. Oh, that was a beautiful... Just ripped them apart. Okay, the troll... I, again, I don't have a good angle on him. Oh, I made it through, though. Hey, and we got to our uh, soul crushes. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do enough damage to finish them off, though. No, I'm just, I don't think I'm doing enough damage here. I mean, I'm doing a lot of damage, but I'm not doing enough. Yeah, I'm not doing enough. So close. So close. 
If only that explosion did like an extra thousand or two hit, that would work. All right, bombs, you're gonna have to take this one. All right, he's regenerating really, really fast. Didn't break anything. We really tried. Is there nothing that can defeat me? Thunderfall attack. Okay, I was expecting to get new skills, not a new attack. How are we doing on skills, by the way? How is this leveling up for you guys? 80%. So if I were to level up Lenneth's skills, it would take a long time. Yeah, it, it would take a while. Okay, clear that guy. We're gonna check to the left. Supreme Crown. Bloody nails. At least we're getting, you know, actual equipment in these chests. Oh my god. I may take back everything I just said. May transform inflicted damage into HP. I may take back everything I just said about bombs not being as good as Adonis now. Because that weapon right there. I mean, he can't regenerate because of the stupid uh, seal stone stopping his regeneration. But. The heck was that? I feel it. My beloved goddess finally draws near. I don't... She's not talking about Samaria. Wait, did he use Samaria as a trap? To get to... Leneth? Because if so, that's... That's... That's a... Why the heck are we? Where the heck are we? Okay, this is a really cool dungeon. Can I say that? This is super cool. I, I was trying to shoot up. <laughs> Just push him down the line. Lunar Bardiche. That sounds like a better weapon for a wrist. Oh my god. Uh, I don't care that I lose an attack. That is crazy. Uh, Sideswiper. Endangerment. I'm gonna get rid of Swide... Swide Swiper. I'm gonna get rid of Side Swiper. I'm gonna go with, uh... Trial of Existence. And, and... Actually, Endangerment may be better first. You know, push it closer to us. Got a shell here. So if there's anything that's super expensive that I don't want to uh, keep, there is a place for us to store it. Oh, hello. I didn't know there was a guy there. Is there something here? I don't even know what that was. Was it an error? Arrow? Okay, we got a Vova Pertain. And we're somewhere here. Okay, I see a big enemy up ahead. So why don't we drop the no guarding and go with. Attack up at max HP. And just straight up attack. Because we're trying to get over that RDM plus 200%. Because that, that is like the uh, the thing that's stopping us from 
you know, going further here. It's just they have a huge amount of uh, damage. Is it dangerous to awaken such power? I don't like this map. Once again, you gotta get there. Wow, that did a lot more damage. And if it wasn't for that 200% RDM, that would do a lot more. Oh my god! What the heck was that? Wrist! Yeah, I think I think Lenneth is coming out of my party. I like her. Don't get me wrong. It's finished at last. But the thing is, even though I like Lenneth, and she's awesome. Because Lenneth is awesome. She's also a higher level. And she has a ton of skills to learn. I don't know if I want to learn all those skills. Whereas everyone else, you know, bombs and wrist, I mean, they, they have very few skills to learn. And it won't take that much longer to learn their skills. I wonder if he has Dylan's skills. And I wonder if she has Leone's. Well, I didn't really give Leone a lot of skills, though. But anyway, uh, my name is Flaz Bird. This is your Sorby's Gaming Channel. And this is our continued blind Let's Play Valkyrie Profile 2 Samaria for the PS2. I guess we can now say that this is Valkyrie Profile 2. It's not a prequel. It's sort of a sequel. It is a sequel. Yeah, I was going to say it's sort of a sequel. No, it is a sequel because it takes place immediately after the last one. Just in a roundabout, timey-wimey way of getting there. I mean, time at all is nothing but like a big gobbity goo point of the doctor, right? But hey, I love you all so very much. Thank you for everything. You all are the best. The more YouTube community, all of YouTube. And uh, we'll be back very shortly as we try to conquer the Tower of Lazard Palat. Uh, we're about a third of the way there. We're doing pretty well. I, I just got to get up to... It's kind of strange because I only see... Okay, there's two more dioceses. There's two more dioceses and we really need to get rid of this 200% RDM. Like, everything else is just atrocious. Uh, the battle menu disabled. I don't care about that. I could seal that. All tolerance is up. That's annoying. I could probably seal that. But that RDM 200%, that needs to go right away. I'm pretty sure the RDM 200% is paired with the battle menu being disabled. I, I don't care about that. That That's fine. I, I, I have a seal stone that I can activate, you know, like down here or something. And so what I'll do is I'll probably just drop that into a shell and just call it a day because I can only imagine to transfer that it might be expensive and I don't really want to spend I, I have 4700 crystals left this may be the final dungeon but there may be better seal stones in the uh, uh, in the final dungeon so that's something that I want to consider y'all have a great wonderful fantastic rest of the day and until next time so long and take care thank you for watching this video Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.